It's not that difficult to understand how those big square barcodes that you can scan with your phone camera work. Each one is a unique arrangement of either black or white pixels. The combination is linked to something like a website's URL or an account number, so when your phone scans the code, it knows where to go. But how many combinations are there exactly? Even though there's a lot of squares, they can only be in one of two states, either black or white. There's a ton of equations for calculating combinations and permutations of things based on their restrictions, but with this one being in two states, this is a perfect problem for our good old friend, binary counting. We can think of a white square as a zero and a black square as a one. While this entire code of 21 by 21 squares is essentially just 21 lines of 21 digits of binary. So we can think of this as a binary number with 441 digits, and therefore it represents two to the power of 441 combinations. That number looks like this. It's 134 digits long. That is more than the amount of atoms in the observable universe. It's worth noting that there are limitations here. These big three squares in the corners, they're needed to help your phone figure out what it's looking at and where the positions are. So they're each on every single one of these and each one of them is the seven by seven square. So without those, we miss out on about 147 potential digits of binary, but we're still left with 294 digits. That's still a huge number. It's 76 digits long, more than we could possibly need. And 21 by 21 grids like this are the smallest kind. We also have 25 by 25, 33 by 33, 57 by 57, and 117, and even 177 by 177. While the amounts increase, the squares in the corners used for positioning actually don't, at least not proportionally. So we have increasing returns on how many things we can represent. The 177 by 177 grid is like having 31,182 digits of binary, or a whopping 5.21, uh, well, in standard notation, it looks like this. This is how many combinations are possible in a 177 by 177 grid. This number is 9,386 digits long. But URL codes aren't done in numbers, they're done in characters of ASCII. They need to spell things so that they're, well, they make sense for human use. And each character of ASCII, it requires one byte, or eight digits of binary code. And while scaling up these codes doesn't require the squares in the corners to be proportionally scaled, they do require some other unique markers to be scattered throughout to help the camera get a sense of spatial proportion. So factoring all that in, a 177 by 177 QR code is able to represent what is essentially 1,264 characters of ASCII, or something around that. But to summarize the question in the title of this video, which is how many possible combinations are there, it's, well, it's a lot.